Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of um, Community Unite. Today I'm joined with um, Jack and Michael and today um, we're going to be speaking about drama and music. Um, M- Michael and Jack have been on on, in the, on on the podcast before so it's um, nothing new to them but it, 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 it's going to be a good chat. So before we get started I'm just going to ask you boys to introduce yourselves. Um, I'm going to start with you Jack and then we're going to Michael. Hello everyone, hello for the first time and hello if you've heard this introduction for the sixth time. Uh, Okay, my name is Jack Minton, I'm a neurodiverse actor and I have recently made my professional debut on the feature Netflix film I used to be famous as the character Sammy. And I'm just here to talk about drama and how it's helped me and my journey. Um, I've only been doing it for a year, so it's not much of a journey, to be honest. But yeah, let's just get cracking and see what happens. Yeah. Great stuff, Jack. You're going to be really excited to talk about it because it is, although this is your sixth time, it's going to be the first time actually speaking about um, the Netflix film because all the other times we couldn't say anything because it hasn't been out yet. But now it's out, we can talk about it as much as we like. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, um, Michael, if you might introduce yourself. Um, yeah, so hello to anyone that's um, seen me on um, Mason's podcast before, but um, if not, um, I'm Michael, and because I'm 18, uh, I'm a singer songwriter YouTuber, and I also do drama because I'm a perform- uh, level four performing arts student at Oldham College. But yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so it's good we all like acting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah um so M- michael do you have like um a dream to go on like is it would you rather go on tv when you're older or more theater uh, oh that's a good question um i don't know i think i mean i've always been obviously i've done a lot of theater stuff which is obviously i'm before an art student at um college and i've always been a lot of a singer and obviously you know and stuff um I, th- I think I'd like to do a good mix of both. Like, I'd like to do some TV because I've been, I've been doing some filming for TV as an extra with college for um, a TV show that's coming out. In, well, that's coming back. That used to be on TV a few years ago. That's coming back in January. Um. So I'm filming it again with them in November. So that's been quite fun. Um, so I think, you know, so obviously like we do, so I'd like to do a good mixture of both if possible, but yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, because yeah. didn't you go visit, um, was it the, the Coronation Street? Like, um... Yeah, I um, yeah, I visited the Coronation Street tour. Um, it was an early present for my birthday um, and it was great. Honestly, that because that and I sort of filmed like a little acting video there, and it was just like really fun to sort of see the experience because there is a there is a few of the actors that are on Coronation Street now, or or, or there's one on Hollyoaks and a few other ones as well, are former performing arts students from our college. Um, so you know, there's you know, there may if I will tell you what, it'd be a dream if I ended up on Coronation Street, but I have been filming as an extra for um. I don't know if I, I think it would, well, I'll just say it. it. I've been filming, for, well, it's been, well, it's coming out in January, um, but uh, Waterloo Road. Oh, really? Yeah, so I've been, like, I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure they will find out, but basically, yeah, we've been filming, like, for the, um, we've been filming this actually, because obviously, I don't know if anyone knows, but there's a new series of it coming out. It has been announced that a new series has been coming out next year, but. Yeah. It has been announced, but I don't know yeah. how much But yeah, um, so yeah, so I've been been filming filmed with them twice this year, then filming it in soon, I think, as um as part of our work experience for college. So but it's been quite fun. Yeah. That that is really cool because like as we're recording this, only yesterday I found out that um because what they wrote put they made a new logo and they, they they put out that it's gonna be an early twenty twenty three. So um that is really cool because I think if you watch the past series of Waterloo Road, um, most of them like start their career off acting career. Even first, I guess 
proper job is on Water Road. So it's a good way to start. Um, mm. I think Water Road. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's only extra work, but it has been, it was really fun and I'm looking forward to doing it at MC and so. Yeah. But, you know, it, it has been it has been a little opportunity for me and the other performing arts students that have done it. We really enjoyed it. I mean, it's tiring. I mean, we're only we've only done like a few days over like different times, but it's been yeah, it was it's been the two times we've done it. It was quite fun to do. So you know, yeah, because I watched all of what because I I watched all the series of Water the Road last year. I think yeah, um because. I was bored, I guess. Uh, um, but it, 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 it's quite a fun program. Like, um, yeah. like you're just going to school again, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that, that's great, Michael. We'll have to keep us um posted on, on what happens with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. So so Jack, uh, uh, as we said at, at the beginning, it's the first time we're speaking to you because, um, since the film has come out, um. So, um, I guess, what is your most favourite part of the um, um, film? My favourite part of the film, uh, even though I sometimes cringe when I see myself in it, is the finale. Reason being is because it's a really, really, really lovely uh, message when it comes to the end of the film it, the message basically is choose your um sort of choose your friends over the, anything else like your choose friends over fame and fortune and it's such a it's like really um it was an amazing thing to uh shoot and um it was even more heartwarming because the two days that we filmed the finale were the uh, last two days I was on set. And having everyone there and also having other people that I've never seen before because um, obviously I wasn't around the, every single day on the uh, shooting days. But uh, it was amazing to film and it was even more amazing to watch because I was actually getting really into it and banging on the... Uh, to gym the drums and all that and um, was, the camera captured that pretty well to be honest and so yeah I loved filming that scene and that is probably my favourite because of that yeah I, I think that last scene might have been a bit cold <laughs> like, well, I don't well yeah, they, they kept throwing us scarves as if they were trying to catch fish on nets or something like that and they, <laughs> I still have I still have them um, I actually still have hand warmers that they gave us from the actual set. So it's, it's, imagine the most pathetic film souvenir that I have are those <laughs> hand warmers. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good because like like you you even sent it to the like the the main um like person in the um in the film Jack. So like not everyone experienced that. So it, it it must have been really cool for you to do that too. Yeah, it was. Um, I actually tried to audition for the um, the part of Stevie, who is the also the is the co lead to Ed Scrine's character Vince. Uh, I didn't get it because I didn't. But yeah, I'm pretty lucky to have experienced this. Um, New career surge, and um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed about what I did. Um, yeah. So yeah, and I'm and I'm chuffed by what I got paid. Um, but that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to share if you want, but you don't have to about that. Part. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but then you'll be asking me for a loan, and then I've already yeah. wanted the money. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's pretty cool. Like it's it's a really good film. Like um, I I used to be famous. It's called, isn't it, Jack? Yes, it is. I forgot to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Just for anyone who hasn't watched it yet, um, I watched it about a week or two ago. Um, because when it was out, it was very close to my birthday. Um, and I wasn't here, so it, it it's very good. 
to it's, it's on Netflix, so it's um it, it's a really cool film. Um and yeah, like um lots of great people there too who who have been in things that you will recognise, and then Jack will be recognised now. It'll be on stuff like Star Wars Dot Two now. Wait, Jack. <laughs> 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 who knows I hope I hope yeah you never know yeah you never know it's, it's sort of things like that you get recognised for going on a film true I should whisper my email address and ask for a but I'm not going to do that um yeah um, yeah so we've got um a BBC I player starring Michael and then we got <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've got next that is starring um Jack. And then you've got me who who do, I I do act it on the side. <laughs> you do um, act it on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Voluntarily. Yeah. 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 When I can kind of feel like to change clothes, which it, I guess it could be time for uh, acting. Like I guess maybe not for you, Jack, because you were just wearing a normal like top, like like it's not like you had to yeah. wear like a star costume like you would in the Greatest Showman or something like that. <laughs> um, right, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky when it comes to costumes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah like it, you're not of Doctor Who where you have to wear a blue and suit, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, I've had some very unusual costumes. Yeah. But um, I guess like because oh, when I um did drama um at school, I, I had to be a moral character, and that's very stressful because I was about three characters that I were, and you have to uh, I had to change them very quickly and know what yeah. character I was going to be next, which was a tyrant. It was in the dot too, because <laughs> um, Jack, you uh, you'll know that, won't you? It's very dark in the drama room. Um, oh yeah, with those um. Those vomit green curtains you have to change behind. Yeah, yeah, you can't even oh, see. God. Yeah, you feel like you're being investigated by police when they when the teachers flash the flashlight. Yeah, and that's e- and that's even when the doors from the corridors behind the curtains actually work. <laughs> so, yeah, so do understand. Not that I hated the experience, but yes, I do understand. No. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a pretty cool experience. Like I think it's where everyone starts. Um yeah. in the in the old drama room at school. <laughs> mm, <me too. laughs> um. Yeah. But but yeah. Um so with drama guys, like um so are you are you on a course, are you Michael? Like mm. at the moment? Yeah, I'm um probably in my third and final year of um performing arts. <laughs> So very drama, acting, music, singing, all that stuff. Yeah, because you, you like your singing. Yeah, I do. I've yeah, I've asked. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna promote something. That, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did. Yeah, because I've always liked singing. Then I sort of joined a performing arts group that was on a Saturday, and then I sort of that's how I ended up joining performing arts. At cause I decided that I like performing arts. But yeah, I've always been. Um, because I'm a singer, so I've always been, you know, like into my singing. But I also I fell in love with acting as well. Uh, but I've actually I've actually got a Christmas album coming out next month. Um, called yes, yeah, so it's called um, Michael's Musical and Magical Christmas. It's out on the twenty fifth of November. That's really um, cool. Yeah, so I've been busy working on that and you know get everything finished and i was actually in the studio yesterday uh, recording a few bits and tweaking a few bits and then got a bit more to do but it'll be all finished before 25th november but yeah so it's been quite a little fun project for me to do and something a bit new and a bit and it's my first album so it's my debut album but it's also christmas album. but yeah yeah and are, are they um so how, how many songs are in the album um, so there's done it. So there's eight um, Christmas cover songs. So there's like um, some like very well my sort of my versions are very well known Christmas songs. And then there's two original Christmas songs, two completely brand new. Originally it was going to be eight obviously cover songs, but there was going to be a new version of a Christmas song that I did a few years ago. 
and then a brand new original somebody to change. So it's going to be, um, hope all being well, well, all the cover songs have been recorded. So there's going to be one or two um new brand new cover songs, and then so there's about nine or ten. Um, I would say it's going to be like ten, but it could be nine. But at the moment, it's about nine. But yeah, right. yeah. And are they like how long is like are all the songs the same like amount of time or is it different songs like longer? Uh, the di difference is like some of them are different sort of um like the, the like the songs I've done covers of the like very you know obviously like the different you know like I don't want to spoil it too much by what Christmas songs are on there but yeah. but you know there's like there they are different lines just the different kinds of obviously there's still Christmas songs but they're also like a bit different in like the beats and stuff. I mean very similar like there's a lot of like happy well known ones but there's also you know like some quite soulfulest ones soulful ones as well but yeah. Hmm. Dif it, 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 yeah different lines but yeah. Okay and uh, yeah so where, where where can people find that then? It, like for wh where's it gonna go? Uh, it yeah, go? right. So um, it's gonna be so the Christmas album is called Michael's Musical Monster for Christmas. It's gonna be um out on twenty fifth of November. It's gonna be single the week before, so it's all gonna be out in November. Um, so it's gonna be on YouTube. Um, on my YouTube page there, my time to music and more. And then it's also going to be on, uh, um, if you want to just listen to the audio with no videos and stuff, it's going to be on SoundCloud as well, if you just search up my name. And then I am hope I might be doing some, like, limited edition CDs, possibly, I'm not sure yet, but most likely it will be mainly digitally, so it'll be on YouTube and SoundCloud, and obviously there'll be things on my social media as well, um, so, you know, to people to listen to and stuff for it. So... Um, and I'm going to be doing a, um, if anyone listens, if I listen to the radio, um, if you shouldn't listen to um, Oldham Community Radio, because I did an interview with them a few weeks ago to talk about the Christmas album. And then when the album's going to be coming out in uh, November, the, 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 I'm, I've been asked to go back um, and um, obviously promote the album a bit more. And they'll play one or two of my tracks um, on live on radio, which is quite exciting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I think it's really cool, like you're doing that, Michael. Because I can't believe Christmas already <laughs> coming. Christmas is coming. Well, you know, I know we've obviously got like Halloween and stuff, but it it does obviously, and obviously it's been like you know it'll be it's a month from it being well about what now about like a month and a bit from it being released, but obviously it'll the time will fly by. It'll be Halloween, yeah. then it'll be bonfire night, then it'll be. Yeah. You know, album release on over Christmas, but yeah, so yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it, even though it's been released in November, so you can think of it as a little early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, this series and like, uh, like it, it's going to be around Christmas time, so it fits really well with the episode. Yeah, um, it, yeah, yeah, because um, oh, it all, it, this series is going to be all it, like around that kind of time, but yeah, <laughs> year's gone really fast. Um, soon we'll be saying it's 2023, so. It's, it's quite crazy um but um I, it, it's really good that you like to sing as well uh, like with drama because it, it is it, it's really good to do singing along with drama too because yeah, like, I, I guess you get more roles and like um yeah you like yeah you do like me like obviously there's like obviously like you know, because obviously, like, at college, we do a lot of, like, you know, musicals and um, things, obviously, you have to sing, obviously, like, you know, and some people want to go into musical theatre, and obviously, which is like, acting, singing, and dance. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of doing dances, but we have to do them because it's part of the, you know, you know, our show, so obviously, I'll do them. But, you know, so there is a lot of, you know, but... It, it obviously is good so up so I feel like I was kind of, I was always a singer at first but then I became an actor as well but you know so I feel like I can sort of merge both into the thing and actually one of the um Christmas well one of the original Christmas songs um for the album is actually being made by one of the other performing art well the music for it has been made by another performing art student. Um, so what that's another thing about performance. I've actually been, I've met, I've met obviously, like, you know, obviously, I've made friends and all this, but also I've made, you know, I've been been able to work on things like with people. So one of the other performance students has actually made 
music for one of the Christmas songs because I've worked with him before on other songs, but I've not worked with him for a while. But you know, we've come back together to work on this, so it's been quite exciting um, to collaborate with you know people and stuff. But yeah, yeah, that's, I, that, that's really good, Michael. And like when you speak about dancing, I remember doing dancing and drama, and I had to get taught oh. how to do this. But this this certain dance and it's very complicated. So. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's some some obviously it depends. Like because obviously sometimes I want to want you to tell a story or whatever. But it it you know it it depends on the dance. Some dances are like really fun and like you know if they've got like a really good song to go with them, it's like it motivates you. But then obviously some dances are like very complicated. Very let's try and make it not too complicated, but sometimes it can be a bit complicated, especially with you know being artistic and having you know diverse and stuff. Sometimes it can be a bit more like uh, the word overwhelming, the word, but yeah. it, 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 it just depends, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's great to see that you, you, you're both doing a good thing with your, your drama and, and stuff because, like you say, being autistic, it's very hard to find this kind of stuff in jobs. And like, um, for, for example, with autism, the, the film Jack done was um related around that um quite a lot yeah. of people there had autism or, or ha- have autism isn't that right yet yeah that's correct yeah yeah because you, you you even had like like yourself people um around the drama group that um had autism too um so that's really really cool um and i think this the film was about is it hour and 40 minutes? Is that how long it is? Yeah, hour and 45, yeah. 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 And... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch this film. Yeah. I promise I'm going to watch should. this film. You should. Yeah. It, what, well, is it on, where is it on? Is it on, is it in cinemas, Netflix or anything? Or... It's on Netflix. Right. I'll have to, I actually have to need, after that Netflix to specifically watch the film, Jack. And then I'll be like, I've watched your film, aren't I? <laughs> Right, well, yeah. I'll do the same. I'll do the same thing for your Christmas album, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll send you the link for it. Like you know, like there you go. But I've, I've honestly, I did because I'm. I've always been. I don't. I'm like no offense to you being on Netflix, but I've always been a thing of I don't like paying the subscription to watch certain things. Like people's like, what have you not watched this? I'm like, if it's on Netflix or Disney Plus, I'm like, like no. But if I can, I'll try and like you know watch. I will honestly. I'll when I can, when I get the chance, I'll watch the film and then I'll. Let you know a little, yeah, a little <laughs> bit of constructive. I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's good, obviously, from what Mason said. Obviously, you filmed it, but and I think, yeah. it, and I'm so, and I'm so sorry, but I think it's good that obviously, like you work with other artists, you've and obviously people who are on the crew and stuff. Because to be fair, one good thing about another good thing about the performing arts, um, my performing arts, you know, other, you know, well, peers, other students. Is there's a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of neuro neurodiverse people, the people with autism, OCD. Um, two of the tutors actually are dyslexic, um, and you know, so it, it's just like we can, we so we sort of like one of my mates on there is has got ADHD and some people who've got autism. So it's one of the things about them. Obviously, so we can all we all talk about it. And obviously everyone's like very, you know, understanding it, accepting. Even if they've not got a disability, they still understand because, you know, for, like performing arts is, and I'm sure you've experienced this, like, you know, when you're in a, you know, like in a drama group or, you know, for, obviously there'll be ups and downs, but, you know, you like a family really. And obviously like, you know, even if you don't get along with people all the time, you like a family and all the people, you make friends and, you know, but, you know, you should get opportunities about out of them, but yeah. Yeah. I got kind of lucky in the sense that I'm not going to lie. I got lucky in the sense that I didn't have to go to a drama school in order to have this, have the job, have Netflix. And I got really lucky in that sense. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I feel like, no, I'm joking. It's fact. It's like, obviously, like, you know, that's the thing that we've been thinking about anyway, about, you know, because I've said in my final year of college, so it's like, are you going to go to a university to do a tour? So are you going to do, you know, go to a drama school, which I'm still not sure about yet. But I mean, you know, other people have had their ideas like what they're doing. Like, you no, know, I've been given suggestions, but it, that that is something I'm thinking. Of. But so, well, look at you doing. I mean, obviously, like through performing arts, obviously we've been filming for obviously what but you know, you know, I and you know, I've been 
you know, I think I think it's done obviously that you've done things, but I think I think actually something I can relate to on that. I um I've recently joined a another performing arts group that's sort of um on a Tuesday and Wednesday sort of evening, whatever, and um it's from the young age of like five up to the age of twenty five, so say I'm eighteen, so it's quite good for me to be able to, you know. So I should be there for up, up to twenty five if once I'm not sure, but that's how originally I got into performing arts because I used to do performing arts, which was in my local town on a Saturday. Um, I left there, well, I think it was early this year. But obviously that's sort of what made, made me feel like fall in love with acting more. That's why I joined performing arts at college. But I wanted to do something again, like outside of college. So I've been doing um, a group called Middleton Pop Stars. It's uh, in Middleton, well, it's in... The town Middleton. Um, so it's a bit. I mean, obviously, I don't live in Middleton, but I, you know, anyone can be part of it. And it's from the age of like five to twenty-five. Everybody knew Matilda. Um, and one other thing about that, I'm playing one of the main characters, so I'm playing Mister Wormwood. Um, and I, even though like we did auditions for it, they'd already picked me to do the role because we did a read through, and I like they said I was quite good for it, so they'd already picked me to be it anyway. But, you know, so I think it's like, good, like obviously, and obviously I know it's not like a major film on Netflix, but, you know, I think it's good, like, you, you know, you, you, obviously even though you audition for a different role, you don't do a specific role. It's so, like me, obviously, I still auditioned anyway, but they'd already picked me to do something, you know, pick me for Mr. Wormwood, which I was happy with. So I think, you know, I think, I think now a lot, like, because... You know, it's nice that obviously as autistic actors, you know, we get a lot more, you know, we get a lot, we get, I feel like now we get a lot more opportunities than say maybe like if we, you know, if it was like a few, you know, years ago or decade ago or whatever. But yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so of course, Jack, with the, uh, with the time limit, it didn't take an hour and 42 minutes to actually do the whole film, did it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no. <laughs> of course, it didn't take. No. Uh, not sorry. Were you referring to the fact that it didn't take that long to film it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I only did. Um, I got yeah, like I did five days. So at least I wasn't through the whole mayhem. But then again, I would have glad they would have been through the whole mayhem. It would have been more money. But that's... <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you, you was only there five days in total just to do your bits. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Better than, <laughs> be, yeah, mm-hmm. better than four. Yeah. Better than four. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool because you, you travel to with the locations, I guess, and like, like behind, behind the scenes on the set. So... That 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 it must be really really fun to do. Yeah, especially since I got private transport everywhere. That was pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, you got an old fashioned limo. <laughs> a bit yeah, smaller. Yeah. I, I oh, a bit, oh, a bit, a bit small. smaller. A bit smaller than a limo, but huh? yeah, I did get private transport from my house then to my trailer, then to the set. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you created like a proper um um star. Yeah, movie star. Yeah, yeah. So, were they all the same like amount of time, like 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 the days you went, or or, or did some were you not there longer than other days? Um, it uh, it was it was I think for the first three days. It was, I, I had the time schedule somewhere, but um, I think I left, I had to leave to go to get the transportation. I had to be out of the house by six and then go to the trailer at seven and then be on the set from eight until about four to five. So it was about nine, eight, nine hour, eight, nine hours. And then uh, those are the first three days. And then the final two days, I left about two, three-ish. And then the first two hours I was on set, I wasn't re- excuse me, I wasn't really on set because the first few scenes I needed to film, 
um, I had nothing to do with and it needed sort of brighter light. And then when it was turned to basically pitch black in the middle of Peckham, which is in London, uh, that's when uh, the drumming group, that's when they joined in to the finale. And so, yeah, I was there for uh, probably seven hours or so and then got went back to my trailer to get changed into my ordinary clothes and then sadly go home. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, like it, it must have been fun when you ordered the drum part because um, you, you get to bang it as hard as you can, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, just like that joke. <laughs> well, not quite like that. They yeah. wouldn't have paid me the money if I did it like that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, it's good that you do have a job that you enjoy as well, though. Um, and that's one of the key things. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I get. It's a. I can honestly say it's the first time ever that I've come to a point in my life, as cliche as it sounds, that I'm actually sick to death of staying indoors. I actually want to work, which I've never thought I'd ever say that ever. But I actually want to do work because of this. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for whatever else happens in my future. So yeah, it's it's it, it, it's really exciting stuff because yeah, like you get more opportunities. Like like you said, you said before, like you've been doing more acting jobs uh, up of other things. Like, like you said about a field, and <laughs> it's all it, it, yeah. it's all good stuff. Yeah, to give context to people who are watching. Um, Basically, uh, Wednesday afternoon, I went to some field in Watford and I was pretending to be a, a, a mad Black Friday shopper chasing after some man in a field. And it wasn't uh, a dream, unfortunately. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I got paid for that. So well done me. And then, it, yeah, it was just running around the field screaming at, uh, I'm running after a man who was trying to take my Black Friday deal. Unfortunately, he wasn't the Black Friday deal, but that's a story for another time. But um, yeah, yeah, that that that's really cool. It, I think it's really good, like when you do drum, when you can actually run about, mm -hmm. because like it, I imagine it's really really cool. Because I think that that's what most things are, like you find, like because you you get to run and be a mad person for. Uh, however long you can and then yeah so it must have been really yeah. fun that was yeah it was yeah yeah because uh <laughs> nothing like sports day i guess but um yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> yeah. yeah and when you get paid there's <laughs> definitely nothing like sports day <laughs> yeah at least, i tell you what at least you get paid Matt. The thing that I was filming for was work experience, so I didn't get paid, unfortunately. Yeah. Who knows, Michael? Like, like they, they hope maybe someone pulls out of Waterloo Road and then you, you can get the extra part and then... <laughs> yeah, and that's what I... We, we, yeah, we're all, we're all filming as extras. I mean, we, you know, the scenes we did were quite, you know, like... The first time it was like like really exciting, and then the second time it was as well. Obviously, you do obviously meet some famous like I met someone that I remembered that I used to watch in a, um, a TV show years ago. It was a different one, um, and I was like, I actually spoke to her as well, and she was very like obviously like a lot of like the you know obviously there's, also, there's well known actors, um, as I'm sure there was in your film as well. That but you know the, the, and it was like. And you think like I can't believe that I'm filming with them, but you know it was really it was a really good experience. And obviously, like it was yeah, you know, it was an actress from um who's playing I don't know what I want to say, but he was playing one of the main you know main cast, and uh it they were in a like children's sort of drama series that I watched years ago. I was like I was like I'm sorry, were you in this? And they were like and we had like a full deep conversation. It was like the end of like one of the filming days. Um and like they were very pleasant. Like I was like I was like oh yes I was like but and like you know we shook hands and all this so it's very nice. It was a really good experience, but you know. Yeah, 
difficult, yeah. Well, so you, you did you actually go to the, the school where they are recording what we wrote then? Yeah, the um, where the yeah the <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but yeah, the where they were yeah we did go where they were filming it, and it was like it was really fun. Like the first time, it was a bit. You know, this, like the second time, it was a bit different. Like we still filmed where it was, but you know, it was you know cause obviously that cause obviously we were playing kids and whatever. But um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I can say and what I can't say because obviously I'm an extra. I'm not like a main cast member. But anyway, yeah. um, but you know, but yeah. So we filmed where it was. You know, the school. Um, so I won't say where it was because, but um. But yeah, it was so it was filmed there, and it was like you know, it was like it was like it was like the first thing we did was quite an important thing, and then the second time we filmed, uh, I think it was one point during the summer, um, was quite you know still quite still important, but like the first one we did was really fun, um, but I won't say obviously because I, I don't want to you know get in trouble, but um, you know, but yeah, it was really good. Yeah, that's the thing of that too. You can't say much. <laughs> this is what I mean. I mean yeah. Yeah, the set, the set, like, the time. yeah, yeah. Because obviously, well, we know, you know, we we know it's early twenty twenty three, so we know it's done. So we, yeah. and no, by no. the time, and by the time this is out, it'll be about a month till it probably, you know, or a month or so, or whenever it comes out. Anyway, but when this, when your podcast episode comes out, it'll probably be a month or so before it comes the actual, yeah. you know, new series starts. I mean, obviously, there's been spars and things on the Waterloo Road, you know, cast, well, you know, Waterloo Road page yeah. and whatever, but, mm. you know, so, but yeah, it was, yeah, but that that's the thing, it's like, you can't say anything. And a bit of it, that, I, I understand how Jack feels, it's like, and obviously, I wasn't a main cast member either, I was just, you know, part of the extras, but, you know, it's like, like they say, don't don't post any pictures or anything. Until <laughs> like, it's all no. out there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I know I'm doing this now, but I've mentioned it on other interviews before. Like, it, it's not as bad as saying, oh, you know, like I've not I've not shown any pictures, I've not revealed it. I've just like telling people a bit about it. You know, it's not as bad as that. But you know, I've obviously said, I'm like trying not to say too much, but anyway. But, right. but yeah, I'm on Marley Road next year that as an extra there, you know, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it, 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 we do know a couple of old uh, people from the old series are going to be coming back as well for Lord yeah. Water Road. So the, yeah, the, yeah, I yeah I the old you know members that you you've probably seen on the Instagram page, aren't you? Some of the old faces that have been and some of the current actors' new faces, but some of the old faces that I mean, yeah, they've all. I think I know three of them. I did definitely film with like who as obviously I think they put a video on the Waterloo Road Instagram page, didn't they? Who the sort of old faces that are coming back? Yeah. Um. But yeah, so they've we did film with them on um. I think all three of them on certain days, but yeah. Oh, you did, did you? Well, uh, <laughs> well, you can, you can. I'm not saying who it is, but you can guess who it is if you know. Yeah, I, I know who they are. Um, <laughs> one of them has been on um, Emmerdale, I think, before as well. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. He yeah. was. And I was like, and because obviously we didn't know who was on it and like who wasn't. Like and when we got there, it's like, it's like, oh, there's you know such a body from you know maybe from Emmerdale, and you know that that's somebody who was in. Or any street or whatever, but it, yeah, so it's been really quite fun. So, and we don't, I think I know we're back going back filming soon because it's like, uh, from what I understand, one of the tutors, uh, our tutors is sort of friends with a producer or something of the series, whatever. But you know, so it was, you know, so it was quite a good opportunity. For, and we're going back filming with them again soon, I think. I'm not sure exactly when, but yeah. Okay. Um. So should be so it be the third time that we film with them. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's really good. Like what like, like with Jack when what we were talking about before about when it was like we we're talking about um the, your Netflix film and we couldn't say you couldn't say much until like now really because it's out now so you can say little bits like that you're in it and it's gonna come out sometime this year yeah. which, which already has so. Um, until you get like announcements, it must be really hard for you. For yeah, you want yeah, to it's like, which is obviously it's like obviously they tell you like just don't post any like you know don't post any pictures or whatever you. I mean, I don't see a lot of people take up pictures anyway, but you know like I mean, 
be fair, some of the shooters have like you know put like oh old old and put like we were filming for Waterloo Road, but obviously it was sort of like after we filmed it was like at the end of the day. So obviously we don't we you know some people have talked about it, but like me, I'm talking about it now, but I'm not saying like too much because it's like I don't want to spoil anything. But you know. But you know, so it's like I mean, obviously, like if it's like if I'm not on an interview or anything, I'll be oh, I'll, I'll talk to, I'll tell everyone about it, like blah, 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 like this and this was this person there, there was this person, you know. If it's like friends and family, I'll tell them about it, like you know. But obviously, if it's like on an interview or something, you know, because obviously I, I do interviews anyway, like yours and obviously other people's, you know, for the music and stuff. So and I do mention it, but it's like I don't want to say too much because otherwise. You know, I don't think I did because I'm only an extra, so it's not as bad if it was one of the main actors. Really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing you, maybe, uh, Michael, yeah. more than <laughs> next year. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. And I look forward to seeing other things, Jack, um, as well in the future. Um, but yeah. But um, before we go, um, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it over to you two again if there's um. Anything you want to say to finish off? So I'm gonna start with you, Michael. Then I'll go to Jack. Um, yeah. So thank you, obviously, thank you for me, for having me again. It's lovely to see you again, Jack. Um, and thank you for everyone that's been listening and watching. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So just a reminder: if anyone wants to listen to the um, anyone listening and watching, um, uh, if anyone wants to listen to my um Christmas album or um any of the songs or videos that don't be coming out, uh, which is Michael's Musical Magic Called Christmas. That's the name of the album. That is out on the um twenty Friday the twenty fifth of November. Um so in just over a month. There's gonna be a single release from that before. Um and there's also gonna be uh, another radio interview that I'm gonna be doing to talk about and obviously I'll be doing I'll probably be doing some more in you know podcasts and interviews and stuff to talk about as well. Um, so make sure you so I might I might as well just put my social media while I'm at it. So YouTube is my fantasy music, SoundCloud is also where the album's gonna be, um, which is just my name, Mike Landis. And then uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that's my fantasy music, TikTok, music May 47 and Twitter my fantasy. But yeah, and again thank you, Mason, for um having me back on a new different, you know, series of yours. Yeah, it's it's great to have you back, Michael in. Yeah, it, like for the uh, I think the third time. I think I think this is your third time on here. So it's it's, it's yeah. great to have you back again. Um, and and yeah. So Jack, do you do you want to say anything else to uh, finish? Yeah, I want to say thank you very much um, to let me on the podcast. I want to thank Michael because um, you're actually very very interesting and i'm actually quite interested in <laughs> on what you want to do next i want i'm interested in what yeah well, right, I said, well, sort of yeah we'll, we'll, yeah we'll talk after this we'll we'll keep in touch after this podcast episode yeah i hope so um yeah um i think the only other thing i want to say is um i hope that my work will entertain and um, inspire others to do what they want to do and I hope that anything that I do is successful as vain as that might sound um, and yeah I uh, I appreciate coming on here yeah well thank you for that Jack um, yeah and it, I think made a new friend today you guys um, it, it... <laughs> Even though we spoke about it months ago, but um, yeah, um, <laughs> but obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess um, it's not that long. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was it? Was it? I can't remember. April obviously. time, I think. March, April yeah, was, time. It was it? Was it April? Yeah, it was. Because obviously, oh yeah, it was during the um, the autism specific series that month, wasn't yeah. it? Last one, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was. It was that month, and yeah, it's crazy. Look, time flies. It, um, it does. Time flies. Well, have a good Christmas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. That if you want any, to get anyone a Christmas out present, just just send them a link to my album. There's Christmas present. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, thanks again, Jack and Michael. It's been awesome as always, and I'll definitely do it again with you guys. Um, but yeah, um, I'm glad you both enjoyed it, and have a nice rest of your day and week. You too. Thank you too. Much. You too. Yeah.